Hi, I'm Neil Barker and welcome to my video guide on stripping the iPhone 4S down um, pretty much all the way but we're going to remove the screen primarily. Um, as you can see this, is, this screen's got a great big crack down it, we'll just power it on. Um, yeah, we're going to remove the screen but it's pretty much you're going to be taking it all the way down. Um, there's a few cables left that I'll mention as we get down there. So what we're going to do is first of all on AppleIPodParts.com you can find all the parts you need, all the accessories, all the tools um, which will will follow uh, follow me, and I'll mention them as we go. All the useful tools, the, even the tool tray. This, these trays are fantastic on organising your screws as you strip it, and they can be found on our tools and accessory section. First, we can start off with a Pentalobe Torx Shape Five Star Screwdriver for the two screws in the bottom of the iPhone 4. There we go. Just to show that it's obviously still swipes, and you've got that crack along the bottom, uh, along the middle, sorry, and that damage in the bottom. Uh, we're just going to power it off. Right there we go. So. I've got my anti-static wristband on to prevent any damage. Now we're going to remove, which I highly recommend, um, we're going to remove the two bottom screws with the Torx sort of pentalobe screwdriver. They come out with no problem at all. And then the rear casing, you get your thumb, it's powered off now, you get your thumb and you push it towards the top of the phone and it clears by about two or three mil and then you should just literally be able to lift it out like that. Simple as that, rear comes away and there's the back replacement. So if you're just replacing the black, the back, sorry, then that's all you need to replace it. You're just looking at slotting it in above it and then pushing it down and putting those two screws in, which will cover on the rebuild as we do that. So we move that out of the way. The iPhone 4S looks extremely similar to the 4. Um, there's quite a few subtle little differences. We don't need the pen slow screwdriver anymore, uh, not until we rebuild it. We need the, the hex head, the, uh, the Phillips now. So we're going to go about stripping the uh, the iPhone 4 now. The, the 4S, sorry. Now it, this this is crucial to keep all the screws in the right place. Uh, and what I do is all these little compartments are fantastic. And I, I lay this the there. I lay the phone in there, and I literally strip the screws out as we go. Now we're going to start. That's the dock. Uh, that's the sort of the speaker. We'll take that screw out there and put it in there. We'll take the battery out. Um, and there's two screws instead of the one and the four. There's two screws that come out. That one there and that one there. Now we've seen an increase in battery terminals being ripped off the board, so you've got to be really careful. And make sure you remove both screws. Uh, again, they're all different sizes, so you've just got to really do have to work hard to keep them all separate. And then the battery terminal is going to come out. Now both those screws are out. We're just going to get a tool to just flick under the under the, the, the head itself of the connector, and off it comes. A lot of people go far too deep, go in, and then try and knock this black connector, and this black connector just tears off the board, uh, which we can repair. You can find links to repair on our site as well. Um, but there, that's a case of just literally getting that silver plate and lifting up and the battery comes out. Now we're going to get the little tweezers in. I'm going to take those, the little bracket that sits on there and that just sits on top of the aerial connector there as well. And that stops that from popping up in normal use. So that little connection, uh, that, that little plate goes in there. Now the battery is good to, to sort of come out. We're going to use the, the Apple tab. Sometimes this doesn't work. Sometimes it's too hard stuck in, but we'll give it a bit of a pull and uh, the battery comes away like that. It's stuck down with quite a bit of adhesive and there's the battery. So you know if you're doing a battery replacement out with the old, in with the new, you make sure that that bracket goes on first, you push the connector in, two screws and you reassemble. So that's the battery out of the way. I always remove this tab, it's just stuck down, it just gets in the way when you try and go further, it flaps around, it's a bit annoying. So we'll remove that. Next thing we'll do is put the, the, the battery on. So I'm going to put on my adhesive for the battery not the easiest, but the, the sort of the pull flap, if you like, in place. Bring the battery over. Now, uh, again, on the iPhone 4, a lot of people got this wrong, but this little bracket goes first and then the battery goes in place. Um, sometimes it's better to do it first, sometimes you can do it afterwards. So you push this, position that over the there. The, the, the little prong points up because that grounds against the back casing and then the battery connector sits in place over like so. Push the battery into the corner sit it down and then we can do the screws in there. Two little screws that hold the battery connector down and that's just come slightly loose so we need to put that back in place. There we go. I hope you can see all this. The same much more filly detail on the, the 4S that it's hard to hold it up to the camera and show you at the same time. There we go, that's the battery connection in place. We'll spin it over and just power it up. 
there we go. So it's powered up, it's all connection. In the meantime, we can just finish off the last couple of touches. SIM card tray in, and then the rear casing on. So the last thing we do is check, make sure there's no dust in the camera lens, give them a blow out on both that and that. And then the rear, the rear camera, you see it's half the camera hole up, really. You're looking at the gap there. So it's a good gauge, half a camera up. Push the case down so it's, it's all the way flush. And then with your thumbs and fingers, just slide it down. Slide it to the bottom. Still powering up. There, so there we go. Bingo. One. One camera. Uh, one camera. One screen. So there we go. From start to finish, there's the iPhone 4S repair. The two screws going at the bottom. We need the pentalobe screwdriver for that. The Torx screwdriver. Again, mine. My name's Neil Barker. Thanks for watching my video for the, for the 4S screen replacement. A little bit more fiddly than the iPhone 4, I'm sure you'll agree, but still, once you've done a few, then there's, there's nothing to stop you. Um, you know, you can get this repair down to sort of probably 25 minutes or so, start to finish. And um, yeah, all the parts, all the tools, all the accessories on our part, uh, on our appleipodparts.com website. We ship worldwide. There's even a discount at the bottom of the screen to get you some money off your parts. Um, there we go. So. One iPhone 4S screen repair. I'm Neil Barker, and thanks for watching.